Hey everyone, welcome back to our series on building Jarvis in real life. This is the third video and today we are going to learn how to integrate an AI model into our project. In the last video, we worked on speak function. Now, instead of building our own AI model from scratch, which can take a lot of time and effort, we are going to use some existing models that are already available. I'll show you how to customize these models to make them do exactly what we want using prompt engineering. One of the models we're going to use is Mistral. It's a fast and efficient model that will serve as the brain for our virtual assistant. So in this video, we'll focus on setting a Mistral in our project. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, so this was the code that we have done previously. So now let me create a folder called models where we're going to add all the AI model that we're going to use in future. All right. So here, let me create a file called um, AI.py. All right. So mm -hmm. let me tell you, like, uh, there's a module called Grok from where we can use the Mistral AI. So let me show you some documentation or website for that module. So head over towards the console.grok.com. Here you will see this type of interface. Just click on documentation and you can read the documentation if you have time. But now let me tell you how we can integrate Mistral model. So first of all, here uh, you need an API key to make it working. So go on API key section and then click on login. Then it will ask you to sign in or sign up. Then do the necessary stuff then you will be redirected towards this page and once you have done that you will be able to create an api key so just create an api key then uh, let us move towards the coding part so first let us import that uh, grok module all right so that uh, so let me create a file called api.py in here let me paste the api key all right so let me import that file as well import api key wait a second it's api import api key all right so now let us create a variable client which will be your object let's initialize this object work api key equals api key all right so now that we have initialized the client object we can head towards the next step where we are going to create a dictionary object messages which is going to store all the messages of the user system and the assistant so it's a dictionary ob object so let me so it's a dictionary object so let me write big bracket and then curly bracket here as I have told you earlier, there are three types of role, system, user, and assistant. User means the prompt given by the user, and assistant means the response provided by the uh, uh, assistant, and the system means the default role. Wait. First, you need to write role, and you need to define what type of role it is. So let me give it a system role. content will be like all right so now that we have done this thing also we can go towards creating a function called ai which is going to take a prompt from the user and return a response now here let us create a uh, variable called chat computation equals and here let us use that object client dot dot create here inside the parameter we will provide messages first messages that we have created this one all right and after that we need to select a model also so whenever you go on their website and visit their documentation then you will see a section called models here you can find a lot of model that grok ai i mean grok api supports so there are some model like l llama 3 adb and you can see the developer as well so now we're going to use this mistral atx 7b and you can see their developer context window all right so let me give it like model 
model equal and let me paste the name of the model all right so now let's create a variable called response where we are going to store the response provided by the mistral ai so let me move this chat computation dot choices this dot content all right so now it will take a prompt and pass that prompt towards the mistral ai and we will get the response in this response variable so let us return this variable all right so as i have told you that it will take three parameter i mean three thing as a role system assistant and user so we're going to push all the data inside this dictionary whenever we got some response or whenever we got some user query all right so here we have got the response from the ai after sending a prompt then we need to push that response inside this messages variable so that it will remember the chat all right so what i can do is i can just write messages dot append uh, directly uh, but uh, let me create a function to do that and it will take two parameter or role and a content here let me write messages dot append and create this type of content right over here role will be role that we pass in the parameter and a comma and the content will be content all right so let us call this function right over here add messages and the role is assistant and we will pass the response all right so now this function will work properly now let me run and check if it is working properly or not so let me create a while loop and then here we create a variable called user input where we're going to save the input of the user all right and here let me append that messages inside the very i mean dictionary object with the role user and the content will be user input once we have done that let me print the ai response with the user query all right so let me run this thing now it is asking me to input something so let me write hello see we got the response hello i'm jarvis as i have told him to act like as a jarvis from iron man movie and let me ask other thing like what is ai all right you can see the response is fast and it is performing well all right so yeah that's much for this today's video i hope you found this video helpful and yeah that's much for today i'll catch you in the next video till then take care bye bye